little bit getting started. Just look out into the wall. Heads up. Hey, race fans, this is Chet Christer with your Comp Cam's top five moments on flow racing from this past week. All right, who's ready to fire off motor hey guys, ready? ready? Meridian Speedway in Meridian, Idaho hosts the sold-out crowd in our number five. It's the annual Eve of Destruction, featuring their first-ever motorhome figure eight race. After some hits and a lot of misses and some questionable driving techniques, Chris Endicott emerged from the Foxy Lady as the event winner. Larson, the leader, outside the front row, on the gas early, leaves Rico scrambling as we go back to green. Rico gets out on Kyle, but Kyle's on the bottom, run. slides up across turn two to take the lead back. Here comes Rico down the back straightaway. Reeling in your leader, two car lengths back. Your race will be for the lead. It's the High Limit Sprint Car Series at Grandview Speedway for our number four. Kyle Larson rolled into Bechtelsville on a three-race win streak with the series, and when the feature fired off, he was once again out front. A mid-race restart saw Larson leap away from the field, but Rico gave it the old bottom groove boogie to power around Larson and pick up the thunder on the hill victory. From the day I turned uh, 16 years old and I wanted to be a race car driver, I, uh, you know, I, I put a lot of effort into this race, and, and it's, uh, it's a passion of mine. So it's, it's important that uh, you know we're up here and. These guys are getting to experience it. Um, Ricky Warner's the best crew chief in the world, so it's uh, you know it's important for me to get him up here and my team, and for them to experience the sensation of winning, especially beating um, you know the best driver in the world. White flag, Carson Ferguson, Dale McDowell, ten thousand fifty-three to win on the line. Ferguson sees the white flag. They're three wide in front of the leader. McDowell to the top side. McDowell's going to slip by Ferguson. Ferguson runs into the back of Benningham. Into turns three and four. The dirt late model Hall of Famer picks up his 12th career win at North Georgia. It's Dale McDowell. The Southern Nationals at North Georgia Speedway host our number three, where Carson Ferguson has led the entire race from the pole, but he finds himself mired in lap traffic as the white flag comes out. Wiley veteran Dale McDowell breaks to the outside, motoring around the middle line to steal the win on the final lap. And back to the bottom comes Diaz there with a crossover move as they touch again off a of turn two. Cade Brown once again up the racetrack, more contact made. They both slide off the corner. How can you not love the Cars Tour? For our number two, we'll head to Hickory Motor Speedway where the Cars Tour is holding a throwback race to honor the series roots, the days of the USAR Pro Cup. Restart with 30 laps to go, set up an epic side-by-side -side battle between Mason Diaz and Kate Brown. Diaz and Brown, along with the majority of the field, went side-by-side -side and wheel-to-wheel -wheel for 10 consecutive laps before Diaz was able to shrug Brown on his way to his first career Cars Tour victory. Second goes to Kevin Thomas Jr. C.J. Leary rounds out the top three. That was a good finish for KTJ. They had struggled a little bit getting started. Just look out into the wall. Heads up. And it's off to Terre Haute Action Track for our number one, where Justin Grant has just joined the 40 Win Club with the MZO USAC National Sprint Cars. Double checkers are flying, and chaos is about to ensue. Seventh running Robert Blue suddenly breaks formation and beelines to the inside wall where he is torn asunder, and more than one photographer is rethinking post-race placement. A broken left front took out both the steering and the brakes for the madman, which is what sent him astray. Apparently, he's tougher than woodpecker lips because Blue immediately climbed out of his race car with a ninth-place finish and a severely damaged machine.